Hello, it's Fees and Friend here with another house build. This time we're building a Christmas house. Of course, next week it's Christmas. And for once, I decided ahead to build one. That is a Christmas house. So here we are doing it. I uh, hope you enjoyed watching it. Uh, I had some fun building it, so that's nice. Um... As I said, next week it's Christmas, and I am looking forward to Christmas, which is um, good, I think. It's nice to have something like that to look forward to. But also, last week I did something else that uh, was something I was wanting to do for a while. Uh, I uh, went to see a musical, which has been... Uh, a while since I, the last one I saw was in the summer. Uh, this time I went to see Aida the musical. It's uh, playing a little bit longer, a little a couple of months more. And once they stop, uh, Frozen will take over that theater. Which I'm also looking forward to. But so far, uh, apart from my niece, uh, nobody has said they want to come to see Frozen, so uh, we are where we are. But we shall see, maybe uh, maybe once uh, it's, uh, the cost has been announced. I am betting on, uh, they, on them bringing Willemijn de Kijk over from Germany to uh, play... Elsa here as well. Be dumb if they didn't, because uh, she, of course, already voiced her in the movie, and she is doing it in Germany right now. And I think we're getting uh, the decor and stuff from Germany, uh, so it would make sense to have Willemijn play here as well. It would be nice as well to have her. As, uh, there are some. Um, uh, talented Dutch musical actors. They are there are some, not a lot, but there are some. Uh, which um, it's a shame that we don't see them that often. As you would think, if you have such talent uh, at your disposal, you would use it. But apparently not. Not as much as I would think. Because I think most of uh, Willemijn's career has been in, in Germany. And I think in Switzerland or Austria. One of them. Um, which is a shame. Because you would say uh, talent should be kept close. Because uh, you would like to show off the talent you've got. But maybe that's just me. Could be just me. I don't know. But I went to see Aida the musical. I wanted to go last May. But then there were no good seats left. Uh, now they've cut down on shows and on seating. Because it's not selling that well. I don't know why. But that is a common theme nowadays in Dutch feeders. And I also don't understand why they are cutting down the seats or why nobody is coming to see it because it was really good, really good. Uh, I uh, knew a handful of songs, like three of them, and sort of uh, the main story. Uh, and uh, I would, uh, I kind of grasped the idea before I got there. But I still was very intrigued with uh, how it played out and uh, what they did with the storyline. And it is a fully new musical and this one is going to be the one that's going to be moving across the world after this. Which is also really nice. Because uh, I, of course, uh, don't know, don't ask me the date, but we have had Aida in musical. In, in Peter's before here 
we have had that, but uh, it was before I went to see musicals, so I didn't see it. Because I have been seeing musicals for 15 years now, it's, it's been that long, maybe 16 now even. Uh, and uh, Haida was before that, so I have only heard of the previous cast and have heard some of the songs. That's very, uh, one very iconic song, it's called Written in the Stars. Uh, and it's uh, a very uh, <coughs> love ballad ask song. Uh, but that's also, it's not just a love story. There is uh, some death in there and uh, other um, hard things. Uh, so it was nice. Uh, what was not nice is it's about an hour's drive from me to there. Uh, and uh, it took me two hours to drive there. I had a... Uh, I expected not to have a track for Tian, but I anticipated I might, so I uh, already had estimated at least 30 minutes extra of driving time. But then again, I left at 4.30, so you would uh, at least calculate in a handful of time, because there might be a traffic jam, because it is in uh, that type of hour, uh, people uh, go home from work around that time, uh, so I anticipated some traffic, but not as much, so that was really nice. So when I got there, I uh, that's next to the sea, and last, I wouldn't say last time, I don't recall what I did last time that I was there, uh, but um, I usually walk down to the, the boulevard and see the ocean, because uh, that's it's something I can't see nearby where I live, and uh, I was thinking I w might uh, do that again because it's um, nice to for a second stay out in the ocean and just come completely into your life would be nice but by the time I got there I also needed to eat and I really needed to pee because uh, I had been in a car for two hours and I'd been sipping some water while I was there uh, getting there and it just overall was a uh, just really needed to eat and then get in my butt into the theater. So I didn't walk down to the pier or to the boulevard and see the ocean. But, uh, I did took a tiny detour because uh, it's also <coughs> there were some Christmas lights nearby and there was an ice skating rink and I for a second just walked past that and looked at it and marveled at the beauty of the Christmas light for a second, but then I really needed to, to go into the theater and find myself a restroom. <laughs> so I did that, uh, and uh, I had booked a seat at the side. But as I was sitting d sitting down and waiting for the show to start, it occurred to me that there were two empty rows in the middle of the theater, uh, and. Uh, I was thinking as I was seeing that happen uh, that I um, <coughs> might uh, pick my things up and move there, but then somebody in the road behind me wanted to do that and was called back by the person that was looking over our seats. She was not having it. She wasn't. Uh, so I saw the first half on the side and then uh, during intermission I uh, left my seat and found myself sitting uh, somewhere else in the middle of the theater, which I didn't pay for, but I think you as a cast would like that more, to at least not see uh, two empty rows. And I didn't sit, sit in the complete middle, because uh, that felt a bit too risky, I sat more to the side, I, I did ask the people next to me if um, they wanted me to move further along, they didn't, they were pretty happy where they were at, um, yeah, so that was nice, I enjoyed 
um, watching it from there. And then just to make everything uh, fall into place. I also had a traffic jam on the way back. Because they had closed down two lanes of the three lanes. And people keep driving to the last minute before the, the lane is closed. Uh, to just maybe get a further ahead. And that also causes a lot of people to don't understand how it works. And you would think if that happens and you all just uh, merge into one lane easily. We wouldn't have had such a traffic jam and I wouldn't have been uh, 30 minutes late their home than I expected to which is great which was fantastic and to make matters worse of course were no uh, places to park my car in the street so I had to park in the parking uh, place uh, like two streets down which I also didn't like which I never like But yeah, that's just how it was. I would recommend going to see Aida before they close down. Because it was really nice and I really enjoyed the story. They start out at a, a museum. Like now, that's uh, where they start out. And in the middle of the uh, museum there is this statue of two people embracing. When they started, I didn't see that there were two people embracing. But uh, they, uh, the story then uh, tells you who these people are. Which was really nice. It was really a sweet touch. And uh, there was just a lot of good singing, good acting. I didn't have the main cast. But the cast that I did get, I was very really happy with. There was this guy, he, um, once upon a time there was a search for uh, Zorro, for the musical Zorro, and he was in there, and uh, I have somewhat ke kept in touch with what he was doing, and he was the guy that was taking over the lead male role, and I really enjoyed that. It was really nice to see him back on stage and doing what uh, a musical theater guy should be doing being on the stage and not behind the stage uh, that is just what I would say so far I don't have any other musicals planned I have never well, never with a start like 15 years ago I would buy tickets in advance but I have stopped doing that I usually just will look at when they play and then uh, if there's anything that I find uh, mildly uh, entertaining I will keep a tap on when the tickets are starting to sell out if they do and then uh, before that time buy a ticket that could be like now I bought it on Wednesday and I went on Thursday But most of the time I would not do it like that. I would give myself a little bit more time in between buying the ticket and getting there. But this also worked out fine and I got to use a um, discount code which was also nice. Because if you have to pay full price it's a lot of money. And uh, I even got to switch seats halfway to a better seat. So that was nice. I also think that uh, the reason why I was determined to go last week is because of this this is going to be great because i haven't talked about Aaron to wait in a while i did last house build definitely did last house build but here we are again uh, Aaron to wait was doing i think that is what i talked about last house build uh, he did a concert in london on tuesday my birthday was on monday and his concert was on tuesday and he announced it a month before which was too short notice for me to get there and I think that might have um, solidified my choice in going to the AIDA now just to uh, get my mind off of missing out on Aaron and Aaron he sang 10 minutes ago from the Cinderella musical and I, I couldn't cope with that sitting in my own house Imagine being in that theater and he's singing that song. The song that you 
imagine in your head that you would sing with him if you could sing uh, and if you could meet him and then he sang it he sang the middle solo part of that song right there and then and I for a second couldn't help myself and I felt really sad but also very happy because now we have this and I can, I can just look back at it and listen to it whenever I want which is also nice I would say that that is a great benefit of this concert dude is doing another concert on new year's eve which i'm very grateful for because uh, the chances of somebody filming the whole concert is very big very big because somebody has filmed the whole concert that he did the last time he did a new year's eve concert and then aaron starts to to, to um uh, um, he starts uh, playing Sweeney Todd in the Sweeney Todd musical. Uh, yes, so that's also good because it means maybe more, more uh, videos of him singing and maybe dancing. I don't know. They probably don't dance in uh, Sweeney Todd because I just can't imagine it. To be honest, uh, I've. I think I've seen Aaron the Great dance, but don't recall it. No. <laughs> if I see this guy on TV, I just marble at its side. So he could be doing anything and I would just stare at it and then just doesn't really uh, doesn't really register in my brain that I'm watching Aaron the Great dance. Cause I have definitely seen him dance because I think I uh, I've seen almost any video on YouTube of him, <laughs> but I couldn't tell you which video he dances the most in. Just couldn't. So that's just what I was up to last week, and I think I could uh, um, fall back on this memory of Aida for a while. I could, we could. Um, um, could we call it for a while? Uh, think about it again. Thinking that I enjoyed it. it was a good time. It was a good um, way to spend my money. Sometimes forget that I uh, like doing that. But I think I've uh, eased myself back into society now think so I hope so but as you have seen I am uh, getting quite there this is uh, this house build is going quite well and I'm gonna do a weird thing which I have never really done before I'm gonna build a playroom I don't think uh, I only uh, once a year plant a uh, put a Christmas tree in a house that's the Christmas build that I try to post around Christmas time uh, but I also rarely build a playroom rarely so that's nice it's nice that I'm gonna give that a go and then just finishing up of course as always there are screenshots at the end of this video and uh, I could talk about musicals a bit longer if I wanted to but I think most people won't enjoy listening to that uh, but as I said this is going out on Thursday and on Monday it's Christmas which is um, it's um, what's the word it's nice uh, that it's Christmas and I wonder what other people do around Christmas time But I bet that not everybody goes to their parents and, uh, or family to celebrate Christmas together. I bet there are, no, I wouldn't say a lot of people, but I bet there are people that spend Christmas alone or just work on Christmas like it's any other, any other day. I don't think any job would make it look like it was any other day, but...
But I do wonder what other people do on such a festive day if they don't celebrate it or I mean you do celebrate it what do you do on that day uh, we usually once uh, in the Netherlands we have two days of Christmas both days you get off of a job Bet depends what kind of job you have of course but most jobs you get off uh, that day of work which is nice um, which means that one of the days I spend with my parents we do uh, presents, we have to uh, um, pick out a piece of paper that determines who you buy the presents for and since last year my niece and nephew also are joining into that uh, or maybe since this year, last year they, they played the game with us or maybe the year before it was really fun, I uh, enjoy this game I generally enjoy most games uh, if there are games like that so that that was nice this year we're doing that again we buy gifts for five euro all together uh, and uh, the first couple of years we did that most of the people bought one gift for five euro but we had determined, I think a couple of years ago, that it's more fun if you have more gifts. Because with this game, it's um, it's just more fun if you have more gifts to hand out and pass. And I have bought all my gifts. I just have to wrap them uh, now the, for the game. I have not bought anything. Because uh, the person I pulled has not uh, uh, put... Uh, any of the presents he wants or they want on this piece of paper I hope by the time I post this video they have done that because that'd be nice because then I can buy the presents because time is ticking Christmas is around the corner and I have not bought any presents for the person I pulled on this piece of paper so that's great But I hope that uh, maybe today the person would put the gifts on their list. Because then I could maybe buy them and have them here before. Because I also have to buy something uh, for my Christmas dinner for the other day that I'm not at my parents. Because I do sort of like to cook for myself something uh, maybe a little bit more fancy than I would normally but I was thinking I think I did this last year as well maybe the year before I have no clue if that is completely true but I try because I know at my parents I'm gonna have a lot of meat and I try then to uh, on the day that I buy for myself for my own Christmas uh, I try to buy something that is a uh, vegetarian or vegan preferably vegan but that is hard because i do love myself some cheese but at least uh, vegetarian and i if i get my hands on these portobellos these stuffed portobellos with goat cheese uh i have done that uh, and i hope i will but we have to see on first day good because also my fridge is full <laughs> but i am I, ugh, but I have reached the end of my video as I said there are screenshots at the end with the floor plan and some interior shots uh, which I hope you look at because I like seeing floor plans um, but I'm gonna wrap this up right here right now if you enjoyed watching this from this video up subscribe to my channel so you see the next house built in two weeks times on the first day and my name is Fiesenven and I hope you have a lovely day goodbye